Cristina Aranda, Chief Marketing Officer at Intelligence and I co-founder of Mujeres Tech. It's an association to improve and empower girls and women in technology and try to get more men at least. My opinion is we have to change that because <laughs> uh, we, the sector, the digital sector, need more female talent to improve more uh, better products, uh, better results of in the companies. And what, what are the factors? Uh, the factors are cultural, first one, the stereotypes. We learn and, and the people and the, the people say bassy to the girls when they are pretty, pretty, <laughs> pretty kids. So we have to empower them. We have to say that you are smart, you can get whatever you want. And we receive all the time uh, through media that the women has an object or can do anything. No, in the Mujeres Tech we try to empower the girls and we say that we are no princess consumers, we are queen doers, we can do whatever we want. We have to uh, be all agree, government, all this social and politics uh, stakeholders has to, to we are in the we have to be in the same position that we have to change this because we live in the digital era when we talk about women in tech we talk about two gaps digital gap and uh, gender gap so we have to fight we have to um, promote uh, several actions to empower the girls and get uh, connections to technology. They have to start to use technology. Mm, don't matter if you are going to, if you love arts, don't matter if you love uh, engineer. The, the key is that you use, you have to use technology for get better products or for get, get uh, your work better, your job better. So that is the, the key that all the stakeholders work together. In Mujeres Tech we work with the Ministry of Education to develop of the computational thinking in the educational, uh, some educational stages. And we also uh, try to promote uh, Mujeres uh, Girls in STEAM in a website to empower and give to uh, visibility all the role models that the girls does, uh, don't have. There is a two questions, several several actions. If you want to in, in, increase the female talent in the IT companies, one is uh, uh, is uh, create a good atmosphere, a comfortable atmosphere that is no that, that I feel because we're talking about diversity and inclusion. Diversity is when someone invites a party, but inclusion is. I am in a party and I love this party, I want to stay here. So in, in the companies, they have to create this atmosphere that I feel part of a great thing. I feel part of a leader. I can uh, release that I am a leader and I can promote in a, in a different stage in my company. So uh, I need to trust on, uh, all the company trust on me. Because in the cultural things, the, the society, they usually trust on the women because they look at you like a leader. So this is very important that the companies give you resource, give you weapons to feel powerful in your company and you feel great. Because something is wrong here, you know? There is too much money in this sector and there is a few, few women and in, is a, there is some studies, several studies that say if you get fem more female in, uh, talent, you are going to get more revenues in your company. So, and we create the diversity is the key for the product. If you saw uh, a group of uh, several white men, Judeo Christians, straight, that they are focused on develop a product that don't think about the rest of the world. So this is, uh, this is stupid, you know, because you lose a lot of money. So think about money, but think about the society. We need to, to include all this talent, this, all this amazing talent in all the teams to enrich men, not only the product, uh, above all, the society, as Rosa Luxemburg said, we have to create a society that we were uh, socially equal, humani 
humanly different and totally free.